reached the end of the hour, but before we go, I have one last amazing story to share. This is what I'm liking. Amazon might have figured out how to deliver books the fastest, but they've got nothing on a bookstore in Philly who delivers books on horseback. <laughs> it's amazing, and that's how I want to receive my books from now on. Um, <laughs> the even cooler thing is the story is called Harriet's Bookshop, named after abolitionist Harry Tubman, and their mission is to actually honor the legacy of black Americans. Here to tell us more is the owner of Harriet's Bookshop, so say hi to Janine, who usually watches on NBC's <laughs> is just like one way that your store is different, right? Right, right. Our store does a lot of things very differently. So mm -hmm. what you see when we're delivering books by horseback is a part of our mission to celebrate Harriet Tubman, to celebrate women authors and women artists and women activists. And what happened was the Fletcher Street Riding Club came together and they were like, how can we support you, right? So our bookshop had only been open for six weeks, six weeks before the pandemic hit. Oh, and wow. so all, many, many communities have come together to support us, which I think is beautiful. Mm. And what we did was we said, okay, we're going to jump on horseback and we're going to keep the awe in reading. We're going to keep children excited about books. Yeah. And that's what we've been doing as much as we can. What a cool, like, <laughs> innovative way as well. That's so cool. Um, and yeah, so it's been a way that we can, like, again, keep it fresh, keep it funky, keep it exciting for folks. And personalize um, it, yeah. And, and now the bookshop is a whole nother bookshop again, right? Oh. So we, we had artists come together and when you walk in, you're literally inside of a book. So there's illustrations on every wall, on the floors, um, I yeah. I love that. What a clever way to get people back in stores and buying, like, like yeah. reading books. I like having something tangible still in my hand. I Absolutely. Can't, I can't, Absolutely. I've tried so hard, I can't do like the reader thing, I can't do it. Yeah. I like the smell of a book, Absolutely. I like going into a bookstore, yes. I love all of it. So where did your love of reading come from? So from many places, but one, my mother was getting, who was a librarian, she was getting her oh. master's degree when I was a little girl. Yeah. Um, and as she was doing that, she started to go blind. Uh, and so what happened was my mother, very tenacious woman, decided to keep on going to school and she would have us read her books to her. So that's what we did. We read to her, we wrote with her, for her, um, and she continued until she got that degree. And I think that watching books as a community effort in our household became like a part of my whole life. What a special connection yeah. that y'all have. What a beautiful yeah. thing. Thank you. Thank you. And just to keep persevering and keep and not let that get in your way. Absolutely. Wow. Well, thank you so much. Thank I love you. you have a powerful story. Thank you. I love this bookstore. Everybody go visit. I'm liking your post thank right you. now. <laughs> and that's that's not all. Our season-long partner, Pilot Pin, makers of G2, the go-to pin of the Kelly Clarkson Show, want to honor ultimate overachievers just like you, ma'am. So they are going to be writing you a check for $1,000 just to help out. <laughs> Thank you so much, Thank and you, you look so beautiful Thank and cool. You. I'm Thank so you. jealous right now of this outfit. <laughs>